welcome friends in this video we are going to discuss about internal structure of ic741 so this diagram helps to understand all the internal stages along with their capabilities and the limitations so the most important point about this equivalent circuit is that the 74 all the 741 models have this same equivalent circuits so in this internal circuit diagram that is divided into four stages the first stage is input stage so this is the input stage and combined with the intermediate stage the second stage intermediate stage first stage combined with the second stage then third stage is level shifting stage then final stage is output stage there are four different types of stages so input stage second stage is intermediate stage third stage is level shift stage or buffer stage then final stage is output stage so we are going to briefly discuss about the uh, structure of this ic741 first we go for the inter in input stage so input stage is the differential amplifier stage so input stage is the differential amplifier stage if you see the transistor q1 and q2 it forms the differential amplifier differential amplifier means we are giving two different input different input one is non inverting input another one is inverting input non inverting input means that is positive input inverting means we are giving the negative input so the input stage is differential amplifier stage comparison of q1 and q2 transistor between which the differential input is applied the transistor as q3 and q4 are also the part of the input differential amplifier this q3 and q4 transistor is used to increase the maximum signal input capacity so the q3 and q4 transistor is used to increase the maximum signal input capacity so the constant current source consisting of here q8 and q9 transistor is constant current source so this constant current source so transistor is used to provide the constant base current for q3 and q4 transistor so this q8 and q9 this is the constant current source circuit this constant current source circuit is used to provide constant base current for q3 and q4 transistor so here if you see here transistor q8 and transistor q11 so transistor q8 and q11 that is diode connected transistor so this diode connected transistor q8 and q11 stabilize the base potential of the transistor q9 and q10 so this diode connected transistor q8 and q11 that is stabilize the base potential of transistor q9 and q10 so here this is transistor q5 and q6 transistor so this q5 and q6 transistor the resistance here see resistance r1 r2 r3 along with the transistor q5 q6 form the con controlled current source here 10 kilo ohm potentiometer this 10 kilo ohm potentiometer is connected between offset null connected between offset null terminal and by connecting the wiper to negative supply the potentiometer is used to control the emitter currents of q5 and q6 this potentiometer is used to control the current of emitter current of q5 and q6 this arrangement this arrangement helps in minimizing offset voltage and current so this q5 arrangements that is connected with the r1 r2 r3 transistor this arrangements is used to or use it, it helps in minimizing offset voltage and currents so the here the transistor q7 supplies the base current to transistor q5 and q6 
so the base current and hence the collector current of the transistor q5 and q6 must be equal at all the times of transistor q5 and q6 are identical so when the transistor q5 and q6 are identical so that time the base current and hence the collector current of the transistor q5 and q6 must be equal so it this ensure so that is that the any change in q5 collector voltage produces identical changes in the transistor q5 and q6 collector currents via transistor q7 so here transistor q4 and q6 forms the complementary symmetry amplifier the output of the first stage so this is the first stage the output of the first stage is taken from q4 taken between q4 and q6 this output at the junction q4 and q6 is proportional to the differential of the input signal so this this output is difference of the two input signal the two inputs are non inverting input and inverting input so this output is given to the next stage so already i told that is uh, input stage and intermediate stage are that is st uh, one stage that is the part of the intermediate stage is the part of the input stage so uh, next stage is level shift stage so level why we are using level shift stage means so if, uh, we are not connecting any coupling capacitance uh, in this circuit so normally the coupling capacitance is used to reduce the uh, dc signal so in this circuit some dc signal is present so we have to reduce the dc signal for that we are using the level shift stage so level shift stage the first stage output is given to the level shift stage so level shift stage normally we are using common collector amplifier circuit or emitter follower circuit so the common collector amplifier how uh, the common collector form uh, amplifier is formed means the common uh, collector amplifier formed by transistor q16 and resistor q r9 the output of the differential stage is applied to the, the output of the differential stage is applied to the common collector amplifier the output of q16 drives the common emitter amplifier which is bias source for the transistor q18 and q19 so transistor q17 the resistance r8 so here the transistor q17 and resistance r8 the and the constant current formed by transistor Q thirteen. So this is Q thirteen. So this is Q thirteen. So here, the transistor Q seventeen and the resistance R eight and the constant current load formed by the transistor Q thirteen together form the common emitter amplifier. So this is all form the common emitter amplifier. The transistor Q twelve and Q thirteen. form a current mirror that establish the current through the transistor q17 q17 q18 and q19 see here the q12 and q13 forms the current mirror circuit so the current mirror circuit that it establish the current for q17 q18 and q19 if you see the circuit there is the connection the collector current of the transistor q13 is the same as the current through r5 the transistor q18 and q19 along with the resistance r10 form the network to bias the output complementary symmetry stage so next is the final stage that is the output stage so normally output stage is complementary emitter follower circuit we are using push pull amplifier circuit here if you see the transistor q14 and q20 that forms the push pull amplifier when v in is passed to q1 that the input signal is passed to q14 transistor is on 
and it supplies the load which be <coughs> next when v in is negative q14 is off and q20 act as sink to remove the current from load there is one main disadvantage the output voltage remains zero as long as v in is less than vbe so crossover distortion will occur at the output signal we have to avoid the crossover dis distortion so we are using this darlington pack that is q18 and q19 we use diode here we are normally to avoid the crossover distortion we are using diode but here we are using the darlington pack to avoid the crossover distortion so the output stage normally the output stage is formed by q14 and q20 along with r6 and r7 transistor sorry resistance the output is measured at the junction of r6 and r7 the output is me measured at the junction of r6 and r7 which are in the emitter circuits of q14 and q20 respectively the transistor q22 performs two functions it acts as buffer between so first it acts as a buffer between q17 and q20 so this transistor q22 acts as the buffer between q17 and q20 and also provide negative feedback and also provides negative feedback for q16 okay the transistor q15 the transistor q15 here if you see q q15 transistor and q21 transistor and q23 q24 there are four transistor is remaining here q15 q21 and q23 provide current limiting for output complementary symmetric stage so this is used for current limiting so here transistor q15 q21 and q23 act as the current limiting if the load current exceeds the safe limit the voltage drop across r6 and r7 increases causing q15 and q21 to turn on which in turn causes to turn on 23 so these are the connected transistors so this is the uh, current limiting transistor this is for complementary symmetry circuit so when the current is exceed in q14 and q20 output stage so this q15 q21 and q23 turn on okay this action however turns off q16 q17 so this transistor when the transistor q15 q21 and q23 on that time q16 and q17 transistor is in off stage so which reduces the emitter current in q22 so this is off going to off stage so automatically the q22 to emitter current will be reduces this reduction in the emitter current of 2022 causes the currents in q18 and q19 decreases okay so when it is on then the uh, current is reduced so q18 and q19 emitter current uh, currencies decreases which in turn lower the current in q14 and q20 okay this is diode connected transistor q24 and 23 act as the temperature compensating diode so this is the internal circuit diagram of ic741 thank you friends